A southern Vermont lumber mill slated to shut its doors. Mill River Lumber in Clarendon is the second lumber mill to close recently, second to a Johnson lumber down in Bristol last year. Our Rutland Bureau Chief Connor Ullathorne joins us live. Connor, can you tell us more about the lumber industry and its state right now? And what about this mill that's closing? Yeah, Darren and Kat, good evening. Now, workers told me that go to work at the Mill River Lumber in Clarendon that the mill is only in the process of closing but weren't able to give it a reason why. Now, the mill first opened back in 1983, and according to their website, they specialize in creating lumber out of eastern white pine, a tree found throughout New England. The lumber yard in Clarendon also has sold mulch to the general public throughout its time. Ken Ganyan owns a lumber yard in nearby Pittsford and knew the owners at the mill and said they even collaborated with Mill River in the past. It was kind of sad to hear. Um, we, we, you know, we knew they had, you know, a new owner uh, and they were going, you know, pretty good guns and they had, you know, they were hiring a, you know, new crew. I, you know, we knew that the lumber business was not doing so well, that the pine business especially had slowed down. And I, you know, and a number of places have slowed down a little bit on their log intake. The Vermont Department of Forest, Parks and Recreation say the last 18 months have hit both loggers and mills hard. And coming up on the Channel 3 News at 6, we take a look into why the department is saying that the trend of mills closing is a cause for concern. Plus, we look at some potential reasons that it's hard for logging businesses to be profitable. Reporting live in our Rutland Bureau, Connor Olathorne, Channel 3 News. Connor, thanks.